Counting down to the return of human spaceflight from Florida, a successful space station resupply mission, and a virtual tool to help develop lunar landers. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. We recently conducted a full launch to docking simulation with SpaceX in preparation for the upcoming flight to the International Space Station of our Doug Hurley and Bob Binken aboard the company's Crew Dragon spacecraft. The mission, known as Demo-2, will mark the first launch of NASA astronauts from America since we retired the space shuttle. NASA and SpaceX are targeting May 27th for the launch of the mission from historic Launch Complex 39A at our Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On May 11th, Northrop Grumman's unpiloted Cygnus cargo spacecraft left the International Space Station nearly three months after delivering about 7,500 pounds of supplies and scientific experiments to support dozens of new and existing investigations on the orbital outpost. This was Northrop Grumman's 13th cargo flight to the space station. A new simulator called the Lunar Flight Deck at our Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia, is being used to help develop the human landing system for our Artemis program that will land the first woman and the next man on the moon. Astronauts brought in to fly detailed simulations with various lunar landers provide feedback that helps researchers advance the technologies used in the cockpits. The Lunar Flight Deck can also be reconfigured to help analyze landing human missions on Mars. Natural disasters like wildfires and hurricanes can lead to many lives lost and billions of dollars in costs. But a new project called Scalable Traffic Management for Emergency Response Operations, or STEREO, is looking at how drones might be used to help emergency responders more safely and efficiently carry out operations. While STEREO is led by our Ames Research Center in California's Silicon Valley, other federal, state, and local government agencies, first responders, and private companies are also involved in the project. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.